Fuzzy Bird, welcome back to Super Mario RPG. In the last episode, we defeated the Spirit of Itch and Johnny, a lot of cool characters we ran into in Seaside Town, as well as the Sunken Ship. But now, we're gonna be heading all the way up this way into Land's End, where I don't really know what's gonna go on here. It seems pretty crazy, so let's give it a go. Whoa, there's a hidden treasure nearby right away. But before we get into it, let's go ahead and take a look at our journal just to see if there's any updates on the scrapbook. There's two. So we have the fifth star piece. A giant squid and pirates stood in our way, but we wrested the star from a passionate fellow called Johnny Jones and got the fifth star piece. Now to report to Seaside Town's elder, which we did, and that's where we run into Spiritovich. Spiritovich on the cliff. With Johnny Jones' gracious aid, we did, we beat the craven Spiritovich. The town and the star piece are safe, but the next star lies in a town of monsters. What must that be like, Gino? All right, so very cool. Glad that we were able to catch up with that, and I guess for right now we'll save as soon as we can, so we'll just save over this one and keep it going. Uh, what is going on with this thing? Uh, is it a cannon? Oh, it is, but it looks like I only have like three directions to choose from. Oh, that sent me out of there. <laughs> That's so funny. All right, so I might just want to listen because it makes a little ding right there. But I do want to make sure that we're trying to get all the all the hidden stuff. So there's got to be a hidden block somewhere around here, hopefully. I don't know exactly where, but of course there's a lot of spaces it could be. So we'll look around a little bit, but it looks like I can't jump up there normally. I have to use this, so. I'll just try to take a look around this room as much as possible. Oh, that was it, okay. Uh, so it's somewhere in there, hold on. <laughs> Where could this thing be? I mean, the best guess is on the co corners of everything or maybe on top of something, but so far I'm not quite seeing it. Whoa, I found it, okay, I got the red essence. Which I don't know, that might be a new one. Um, if we take a look. Yeah, right down this way. I've only got a couple of them, but become invincible for three turns during battle. There's a lot of items I definitely need to use, but I figure some of them might be worth saving for boss fights and stuff. One of the ones I definitely want to use, though, is the Yoshi cookie. A lot of people are saying that that's a really good one, so try to keep that in mind. I also want to use the FP restores, but that, like, raise the FP a little bit more often. I'll try to look around for all that soon enough, but for right now, just trying to run around and get some more stuff done. There's another hidden treasure somewhere around here as we climb higher up this mountain. Doesn't seem like it's over here. Oh no, <laughs> that always launches the, but you never know if that's gonna launch me into like an item box. So that's what I'm sort of careful of right now. So it's not right there, not over here. Whoa, hey, uh, not good. Are these new enemies? It seems like we got the Shogun Chow and Octavator. So good thing that we have Peach here, but I think we might need a little bit more firepower than Peach can provide at the moment. So let's try something like this. And I don't know if I've tried Genoblast. This beam hits all foes. Build power and energize. Okay, let's give this a try. Uh, here we go. Whoa, this one's cool. I don't think we have used this. Oh man, that is awesome. So much damage done to all of them. Okay, I was not expecting that. So I might get Mario to pass, defend, so we can just make extra sure. If I can uh, Thought Peak on Activator. Ooh. Hopefully that was good. Even an octopus can fly it if it, if it, if it tries. <laughs> I'm glad. Oh, uh, can't block that one, but I don't think it'll do too much. It did a lot to Gina. All right, there we go. <laughs> we knocked it out. So I'll have to run into some more enemies throughout today so that we can um just, yeah, try to track them down. Whoa, this time we got the powered up chow. We got a lot of stuff going on here. So I'll do a normal attack, maybe against one of these shoguns. There we go. The double fist punch is so cool. Oh no, and Gino's down already. That was crazy. So the game is jumping up in difficulty quite a lot here. Whoa, and the, and the Koopa shell kick is a little bit new too. So let's go to special, do Thought Peak on the Shogun, which is like this armored ant. It's very cool. There we go. One can't save from one's nature. Oh, good block there. And then we're gonna recover, even though they didn't take any damage. Okay, so it would be Gino's turn, but of course we're just gonna skip. We'll switch to Bowser for now, and then maybe we'll have Bowser get rid of this one. I could try Poison Gas, Poison's Foes. Sure, why not? I'll get a, ooh, there we go. They're all gonna get poisoned. That was quite a lot, but it missed that one. Okay, maybe that one enemy, they, they could be immune? I'm not quite sure. Okay, not the best timing. I definitely prefer the hammer. So, special, thought peak on the chow. 
because I'm pretty sure this is a different color than the other one we got. Oh, it's Mario. I'm fighting Mario. Me. <laughs> cool. I think we have seen that one in the back. But I will thaw peek them just in case. Okay, sort of blocked it. What do I want to do here? Maybe I could do ultra jump or something. I'm not really afraid of using FP at the moment because I'm going to be restoring it a lot more. Uh, so, sure. Ah, oh, not the best timing. I'm sorry. <laughs> thaw peek on the, the think flower. The name doesn't sound super familiar, so we'll see. There we go. They're weak to fire. Pucker up for a bruising. <laughs> Cool, okay, Bowser, you also have Terrorize, but I think maybe just a normal attack for now. Oh my gosh, <laughs> yeah, they throw the, the fake Mario, I forgot about that. We get some defense up. They're gonna recover the Chow. Try to block it a little bit. This is where we wanna do some stuff. Maybe I'll do Super Fireball against the Think Flower, just so that we can get rid of it. If it's weak to fire and it's healing up the other enemies, it didn't really do much. Okay, good to know. That wasn't so bad, 120 damage to you. There we go, that's gotta finish you off. It does for sure. So now we just have you all powered up. Yeah, you're the special enemy, so. That wasn't so bad. Okay, stacking up a bit of damage. <laughs> we actually throw Mario this time. There we go. Ah, didn't quite get the perfect block. And there we go. So we got a nine chain, lots of damage coming out, an extra frog coin too. Now would be a great time to sort of boost some stats and stuff, but as you can see, we do get a level up. So Mario reached level 15, and with it, his stats are boosted. I think with this one, hmm. It looks like we're getting the biggest jump in like specific numbers with HPs jumping three instead of just one or two. So we'll try HP. There we go, everybody's getting a lot stronger. So before we fight you, I wanna try doing a flower tab, because not only will this increase my FP, but it'll also totally restore it. So I just need to use my FP moves a whole lot more often. And I think with that, I should probably go to my team. What I would like to do now is just get Gino back out here, but then also get Peach here, so that they can heal everybody up appropriately. I mean, oh, I wish I could switch out Mario just so I could get Malo and heal them both up, but this should be okay. Um, So we'll go ahead and fight you and just keep going against new enemies. These two we've seen before, so we know this one's not gonna be too big of a deal. There we go, one hit takedown on you too. Beautiful. So Peach, if you don't mind, with a gauge up and everything too, I wanna use special heal HP and status on you. There we go. That gets you back up the full. <laughs> Gino seems thankful, that's great. And not quite a one hit takedown on on this thing, but Gino can finish it off. 274 damage is insane. Awesome. So there we go, we get that one done. Malo gets to level up now. Looking good. A lot of people have been asking me to upgrade Malo's physical attack, so I guess I'll focus on that now. I feel like, you know, I usually just focus on their strengths, and their strengths so far are definitely just uh, magic for Malo specifically. What is going on up here? Huh. I'm not quite, oh, whoa, there we go. So if I use this again, I can launch onto this, and there's one of the blocks. Is this a hidden treasure? It's not. So maybe uh, somewhere else around here, I still gotta find the actual hidden treasure. A little tricky, but it's, it's gotta be around here somewhere. Oh, I found it. Okay, it was just on the other side, the Croaca Cola, which are pretty nice to have around. So that's some good stuff. I think I will change my party again, just you know, keep, oh no, that did heal everybody. Oh, cause Malo got the level up, they didn't need the heal, I remember now, very cool. So there's that. It's not saying there's any kind of hidden treasure here, but I can go and fight some more enemies. These are the Gekkit, the Sprint, the Spinthros, the Crifid. seems like some new stuff here for sure. So I think what we'll do is we'll switch you out with Malo, and I'll immediately just start thaw peeking people. So the Gekkit. Pretty sure we don't have this one. We've had a different color of this like gecko kind of thing. Ah, <laughs> I do whatever I want. All right, Peach, what would you like to do? Um, We do have Sleepy Time Comeback Revive a Pal. So like, we can zonk one or more foes. That actually sounds really nice right now. So I think we'll try Sleepy Time. Okay, rotate. Oh yeah, I remember, I remember. There we go, so this should make some of the enemies snooze. That'd be great. They will wake back up. Okay, I made them all fall asleep, excellent. 
So I will try a super fireball against the Gekit and just see how that goes. Excellent. It's resistant. Never mind. <laughs> that was not as excellent as I was hoping. We're back to Peach already. Maybe this is where I switch to Bowser. I feel like I haven't been playing Bowser too much, so I'd like to change that. There we go. 100 damage onto the Gekit. Mari, when does Mallow get to go? <laughs> All right. Uh, not so bad. Now Mallow gets to go. We'll do Thaw Peak on the Crithid. So I don't really even know what this thing is. It's sort of just a tumbleweed. Okay. Today is going to be my day. I can feel it. Well, good luck with that. I got the perfect block there. Mario, go ahead and finish off the Gekit. Ooh, and we had everybody else too. It luckily didn't wake them up, so now we just need to Thaw, thaw Peak Spin Threat. It can be hard to keep track of exactly what we've thought peaked one. Some of the enemies are just sort of recolorings of others, but I'm not venomous. Trust me. <laughs> I don't know if I will. Um, there we go. That's one of my favorite moves. It's so silly. Okay, Mario. There we go. Hit you. Ah, didn't time that block. Oh no. Bowser's a scarecrow. Not good. There's a little bit of something. And then lastly, Bowser can't do anything too crazy. I guess maybe now we could switch to Gino, and Gino can attack. That's least a, a, a nice thing we can do. Whoa, the sandstorm definitely hits a little bit, but we just go for another attack here. Almost finishing you off. 32, seems like they might have a high defense or something. Okay, we sort of blocked it. Gino, how about you just do Gino beam? Okay, boom. 92 damage. Mario, go ahead and do Fireball. It's almost down, so I would hope that this would do the job. It's resistant, never mind. Uh, Thunderbolt, maybe? 90 damage, there we go, excellent. Probably could've just finished off with a physical move, but overall, pretty good there. And I definitely, once again, wanna use one of these, so. Actually, I might wanna let it get a little bit lower, because I think this is my last one for now. That, re that uh, raises my FP, yeah. So I'll save that one for when we really need it. Oh man, oh man. Oh, they're going to the cannon so that they can get launched up. That's so neat. It doesn't launch me though. Oh, um, what do I wanna do here? These enemies seem pretty simple. I'm trying to save my gauge for when we really need it. There we go. Lots of damage to you. So I might just be able to hit you with some normal stuff here. Ah, oh, that attack, I guess. Goes a little bit later than I thought it would. Smalo takes some damage, but overall we're fine. Getting some good experience and everything at UK Mario. There you go. Lots of enemies to fight, which I figure we will. I don't see really too much of else we can do here. Yeah, it's sort of weird how that works. Well, how do I get back up then? Because usually we go into the cannon and we can choose when we launch. Whoa, the Gekin is confused and attacked its friend. That was very odd. There we go. Okay, Malo, do you wanna finish him? Oh, actually, Mario gets to go once again. Very cool, very cool. So close. Still doing that way too early. There we go. That's at least another battle finished up, though. Peach levels up, which is great to see. So let's see what she gets here. Peach le reached level 14. Lots of extra stats. The biggest jump for her is definitely gonna be the HP, I think. Yeah, five HP gained, sure, let's give that a try. Okay, poor Mario, <laughs> not able to do much there. It's okay, it's okay. Um, I did that way too early, but I blocked that one perfect, so it's fine. Able to hit both of them there. And then you know what, let's go ahead, actually once again, this is very similar to the last fight. <laughs> we get Mario to go again. I get Malo to attack and, and they're done. Excellent. Closing in some other level ups there too. So how do I get back up? Can I just not go on these? I really don't know. Maybe if we just cleared all the enemies, it would just be the best answer. Let's go ahead and try something else. I don't think we've done Gino World too much. Attacks the enemy press A prior to contact for a critical hit. Ooh. Whoa! Whoa, okay, that did a ton! Why did it, it did 9,999? I'm gonna guess that's the maximum. That was crazy. I guess that's what they mean by critical hit. It's just like a guaranteed takedown. What if you did that against a boss fight? How much health do the bosses normally? Definitely not that much. Crazy. 
Uh, put cleansing juice in the storage bo box, that's fine. Okay, <laughs> I'm just bouncing into every single enemy. Okay, we do have the spin threat. I wanna try that one more time. The Gino Whirl against the spin threat, if possible. Okay, that's not what I wanted. I got it again, okay. Is that just what it's supposed to do? There's no way, I don't know. I'm very confused. Well, let's see what we can do here. I might wanna switch to Peach and just have her revive, you have to come back right here. There we go. Feeling pretty good. And then Gino Whirl against Spin Threat. Maybe four. I don't think I timed it very well this time, but that's okay. So crazy. Whoa, cool. I like the umbrella attack. I still defend against that way too early. That was pretty good. Uh, I can't do it this time, so left with just this, but I'm hoping that you're getting a little bit lower. Let's try maybe a group hug. Or we could do this one. It's a little bit easier to heal from, so, or at least. It's easier to heal with this one, I think. The quick time thing. Oh, they missed, good. But more than that, it doesn't use up as much FP. Okay, let's go ahead and do that. This, this guy has so much health. Ooh, there we go. That finishes it off. So I guess we'll have to watch out. If we time it well, we can just do a, a bunch of damage with Gino. And speaking of which, Gino just got a level up, so definitely wanna check this out. You know, seems pretty happy about it. So does everybody else. Level 15, and with it, guess we're just boosting everybody's HP today. Seems like they need it, seems like they need it. Okay, so, Mario, if you don't mind getting back up, we fought a lot of enemies here. See how it, I, I don't understand, how do I get back up? Maybe it's just not this. Oh, this one, this one, this one's not wiggling around. That makes sense, I understand now. Okay, well. Uh, okay, I thought I could maybe just stay there and I dodge you. This is a lot, and I forgot to restore our FP, so you know what I should do is probably a triple move, but I should probably change it, right, if we switch. Yeah, starry shell spike, a spinning shell charge with the star power hits all enemies hard. That sounds great, because this is a lot of enemies. I don't want to deal with all of them if I don't have to, so let's try this one. This is a really cool one, so I, I don't mind. All right, so Mario goes up. Spikes Bowser down with the superstar. So cool. All right, so that got rid of almost all of the enemies. We just got this Criffid. I didn't do much damage to them. Uh, we could try jumping. I, oh my gosh. Not doing good with the, the jump timing recently. There's at least a little bit more. And then Bowser needs to attack here. Just toss Mario. We're getting there. Ah. Very tough enemy, but we're finally able to knock them out. That was a challenge. Lots of experience though, so that's cool. Now is definitely the time where I go ahead and use my flower jar, increase our FP by three, and now we don't have any other FP increasing things, so I'll definitely have to save it. Or I just, I can't really use it. I'll have to, to save my FP, that's what I mean. Okay, so there's a hidden treasure nearby here. Definitely save as we're running to all these new enemies. Very cool, and We'll try to take on this enemy, but also, whoa, find this hidden box, wherever it might be. Okay, we got the, the Fing Flower and the Stinger is new. So I might switch over to Mallow as we normally do. We will do a uh, Thought Peak on Stinger, because I think we've had a different coloration of these enemies. The buzzer is about to sound for you. Oh my, uh. Okay, I was able to block it, only one damager. Let's go with the Stinger first then. And we're able to get a one-hit knockdown on you. Excellent. Bowser, toss Mario, add the Fing Flower. The gauge is going up. Can't block the pollen nap. But Malo has resistance to it. Nice. All right, so pretty easy battle there, that's for sure. We're still looking around for that one hidden treasure. But I guess in the meantime, if we could fight some people, probably worth our while. Whoa, okay, they're attacking straight away this time. Bowser, turn into a mushroom, not Mario 2. Oh, that was a close one. Um, What can Mario do here? I guess that. Oh, that hit everybody. Excellent. Once again. Okay, we can get rid of the other stinger now. Ah, uh, I don't know how that wasn't good timing. Okay, it's fine. 
Gotcha decently there. Ah, I didn't quite block that. The gunk ball making Mario fall asleep. At least Bowser is healing. I guess we could skip. Ow. All right, Mario's not sleeping, he's just sad. All right, well there we go, we win, we get some decent experience. Enough for Bowser to get his level up. Excellent, so there's that. Looking pretty assured of himself. And he's learned a new move, Crusher. Earth Eruption, hit A right after the shock, pokes out. Very cool. Okay, so what's gonna be the biggest stat upgrade this time? We get one point for each of these, but we get two points for attack and one point for defense. We'll do physical. All right. So, with that done, I mean, there's still more enemies to take out, so I guess I'll, I'll fight you. Whoa, it's a whole group of them. Okay, that wasn't good. Uh, there we go. Locking a little bit better this time. Mario gets turned into a mushroom. I like a different mushroom than Bowser got turned into. I guess maybe they have different effects. You know, Bowser got the one up. Mario gets the power up. Let's see, I don't need the thaw peak. So I guess we could try Shocker. Shock an enemy. Well, that just hits one. But we do have Snowy, a snowman fells foes. Did we try this before? Did I miss this one? I might have. Uh. Okay, rotate L for damage. Come on. Whoa, whoa, so cool. And that does enough damage to knock them all out. That was so neat. Feel bad that I missed that one. I guess it must have been a level up reward. I just didn't see it. So what is over? Oh, this is another area. Okay, I need to go back. This is cool and everything. We'll check it out in just a moment, but there's a hidden treasure nearby and I need to find it. And it might not even be over here. It might be up that way. We'll try to figure it out because you never know with this game. They can be anywhere. But for right now, we need to fight another enemy right here. Okay, ooh, just barely blocked that. That was great. But we're still mushroom. That's sort of a shame. You gotta do that one really late. Okay, I don't even know if that counted, I guess not. Let's try this time, just a Thunderbolt. A lot more affordable. And it still does enough for a one to take down. The Stingers just don't have much health, so they're fun to sort of knock out because of that. We get the Cleansing Juice, which goes to our storage box. And I guess for now, let's try up here. Okay, whoa, ah, oh, <laughs> right back down, come on. Uh, turn around just like this, and then boom, fight this next one. So I have Bowser's new move to try, right? Got that block, that was good. But in the meantime, let's try another Thunderbolt. That should get rid of both of the stingers, but the one uh, octopus has resistance. So let's try Crusher on the Octivator. Whoa, okay, I did not time that card, but that was crazy. Got it, okay. So we'll just do a normal attack against the Activator now. Just try to knock you out that way. Good block, burning up a bit of a chain. We'll toss the fake Mario over, because Mario's currently a super mushroom. And that's another battle finish up. These have been a lot of fun. You know, usually with a lot of these games, it's, it, it seems a little daunting. Whoa, okay, seems a little daunting to take on every battle. But in this game, it's a lot of fun. I actually really enjoy taking on ed every enemy in a room and clearing it out. Once again, here we go, okay. I think the once again flower is my favorite one. Okay, we'll just switch over to Gino for now. There we go. Trying to switch out our team often and just sort of fit in what we need where we need it. Get the cleansing juice, put that in our storage box. So I don't know what this is gonna, whoa. Uh, whoa, hey, who are you? Welcome to the Sky Bridge. It's a big tourist attraction here, yahoo! Gonna go over there. Wanna challenge it? Uh, no, we'll do it in a moment. Alrighty, take care then, because I think if I go back down here, yeah, I'm back to where I was before. That's perfect, because I still haven't found the hidden treasure, so let me try to look around this area and figure out, oh, where it is, okay. <laughs> That's perfect, never mind, we found it. So, I guess I'll try that first. We'll jump back up there and we'll try to go against that sky bridge. See what ends up happening, oh no. Oh. Ready, and boom, got it, we're good. So, once again, wanna challenge it? Sure. Okay, I'll need five coins from you. Need an explanation? Yes, I do. 
You can cross the sky bridge in one of three ways. However, if you fall at any time, you'll lose. On the normal course, the blocks won't fall. You can jump to the next block by tilting L in the direction you're going, then pressing B. You'll get five coins for that. On the special course, jumping works the same as on the normal course, but the blocks will fall if you stand on them too long. You'll get eight coins there. On the expert course, the blocks will fall and the jumps are harder. You'll get a frog coin there. On all the courses, you'll have to jump and avoid the bullet guys. Which course do you want? I think we'll start with normal, but I wouldn't mind doing one of each. Okay, let's try normal. Yahoo, good luck to you. So I just get up here and I, oh, I see. So, okay. It's sort of like a, a little bit of a rhythm. Ah, okay, there we go, I got it. I did it. Yahoo! You wanna double your winnings? Get double the coins if you make it across on the same course in one attempt. Be warned, the course is harder, and if you fall, you won't get any coins. Still wanna try? Sure. <laughs> we're getting brought all the way back. <laughs> Pretty cool. So we're double or nothing now? Uh-oh, 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 oh no! <laughs> Not good. Okay, I learned my lesson there. Lost all five of our coins, but over here, we got a flower tap, perfect. I'm not really super low on FP right now, but the next time that I am, definitely gotta take advantage of that. Whoa, what's in here? Uh, whoa, what is this? Uh, I found the hidden room. This is crazy. Uh, I try to look around for a hidden treasure too, but I don't know what to make of this. Whoa, new enemies too, we got the Chewies and the Bezo up there. Okay, interesting. I think we'll just start with um, Gina focusing on the enemies that aren't new. I blocked that perfect. Uh, whoa, the Will-O-Wisp. It's a move we've seen before, but it's a little crazy. Oh no, okay, that's fine. I wanted to hit the other guy, but that works out. Attack up for the next turn. Let's do special Thought Peak on the Chewy. Like little piranha plants, very cute. I wanted to be just a normal flower, <laughs> oh sorry. I think you're great the way you are. All right, let's go ahead and hit Gek It. All right, that's something. Once again, we can finish up the Chewy. Oh no, they run! Okay, we still need to scan bees out, but every other enemy there, we figured it out. Okay, let me try to hit that, get a frog coin for it, cool. And then go against another Gekko, or Gek It. Uh, the spin threat. Okay, this is a little bit scarier. Let's try the Geno Blast, because this hurts everybody. Or maybe I should do something a little bit more affordable. Um, maybe I'll just do a normal attack here. There we go, we got 100%. I did that way too early. Geno's about to get knocked out. Oh, okay, the kick it hurt itself in <laughs> confusion. All right, um, I think I might just do that for now. Go to you. I think we need to do this one, right? Or we could switch to Peach, and she could do it a little bit better. Uh, Cause she can do heal and status, which I think, you know, poison would be a status, right? So let's try this one. There we go, back up the full. Gino looking great. Let's go ahead and hit spin throw again. Ah, oh, it didn't quite work there. Ah, oh, I'm so bad with blocking that one. <laughs> it's not going very well. Uh, one gek, it just keeps hurting itself, the poor thing. There we go. Knocked out that one too. So, that wasn't so bad. Nice, there we go. Ooh, the perfect block this time. Still poison though. Unfortunate. Okay, got the frog coin out of you. I'm just sort of, you know, so blown away that like we're in a little secret room now. Like, I, I don't know really what this is gonna lead to, but we do get Mario's level up here, level 16 now. Ooh, lots of extra stats there. It still looks like he gets the most out of HP right now. And and honestly, seems like we need it. We're getting knocked out pretty often. Okay, so, I see you over here. I might as well knock you out. Not seeing any more of those, was it Bezo? Let's go ahead and do Geno Blast here, I think. I don't know though, it just feels like a lot for just a few enemies. I could do that for now. I could switch back over instead of you. We can do Bowser and try Crusher again, or Poison Gas, or Terrorize. Let's do Terrorize. Terrorize could be fun. All right, Boo, do your thing. Nice, it does a lot of damage. Oh, I was so early with that. Okay, the one, get kids out. Got it. 
That was pretty good. Not bad. Oh, now I'm too late with it. Well, I guess I got the chain, so it was somewhat correct. There we go. Get gets down, we get our, not get it, the uh, Spinthra is down, and we get ourselves another frog coin for that. A level up for uh, Malo is always good to see. It's always fun that Malo's like never much farther behind Mario with the experience, because he joined our party so soon after the game started. But uh, this time, I'm not the physical again. There we go. Uh, let's see what else we can do around you. Can I hop on these or interact with them at all? Doesn't seem like it. But there is, you know, a way to continue over here. I'll knock you out. Okay, nothing too crazy here. Yeah, I think we can make quick work of these enemies. Attack up for Gino. 224. So, that should definitely do the trick. Easy fight. And our chain continues to go up too. So, we're doing a lot. Gino gets a level up. Or no, it wasn't Gino, it was Peach. Uh, Peach is level 15, and she learns a new move, Mute. Haunt magic attacks. If it's executed well, it affects all enemies. That feels like it'd be really useful um, in a boss fight, just to sort of tide things over. We'll up her health too. I think we just need to make everybody a little bit stronger in the health department, so it works out pretty well. I'm not seeing too much over here. There's gotta be that hidden treasure somewhere, so we gotta keep looking around for it. All right, I found it, very cool. So there's that, going deeper here. I feel like, I don't know if I'm going the right way or if I'm missing things by taking the secret path first. Okay, here's another bees out. Oh wow, and a ribite. So lots of new stuff here. I think we'll just switch just like that. Do thought peek on bees out. Because the bees out seem like they might run. They did before, so might as well try that now. La dee da, ha ha. All right, gauge up for that. Ooh, not the best time with that. Also, that missed though, luckily. There we go. Okay, we got lucky. Can't block the venom drool. Bowser, go ahead and knock out the other Bezo. Or not, hard to hit him. Got the block there. Mario, try that one. There we go, much better. And we're lucky. Malo's turn finally, we'll do the Thought Peak on the ribeye just in case, because like I said, I can't tell if it's a new one or like a, like a recolored version of an old one we've already seen. My dad, Frogog, says hi, yeah, Frogog, that's what it was. So I guess we're battling their son now. Cool. All right, so there's that done. And with it, some experience coins, honey syrup, all the stuff. Uh, double your experience, we haven't seen this in a little bit. So where is Yoshi gonna go? In the middle for now and stays in the middle. Awesome. So, we get 16 experience, jumping us forward a good chunk. Let's keep it going. A box here, interesting. Listen to this, whoa, hey! And he hidden stuff, the barrel, getting kicked over. I guess to allow us to go back up if we need to. I'll grab this mushroom, and then try to fight you. Never mind, I missed you. Where is this gonna lead? Wait. Wait. Are we in the the sewer? Yeah, we're in Karo sewers. No way. So it loops all the way back around here, and I got the cricket jam. Whoa. No way. Well, that was an interesting sort of full circle. I wasn't expecting it to lead there. Okay, let's fight you, and then I guess we'll go back to what we were doing. That never mind. It wasn't interesting. That was so silly. All right, that seems like this whole area cleared out then. What an interesting experience and it ties it all around like that. I'm just gonna head back out to um, Land's End and try to go the way we were, we were originally going. Okay, so I figured we would try the rest of the, the, the Sky Bridge here and see what ends up happening. Sure, so we did the normal, even though I didn't win the double or nothing, that's okay. Uh, I don't need the explanation anymore. So, let's try special this time. All right, so. I sort of get the idea. Whoa, and then they'll start to fall, so I gotta be quick about it. But we made our way through. Yahoo, you wanna double your winnings? Get double coins if you make it across on the same course in one attempt. If you warn the course is harder and if you fall, you won't get any coins. No, I don't wanna try. I think, you know, we, we made our three coins out, out of that. Here you go, as promised, you got eight coins. But I do wanna go back, if possible. There we go. 
because I want to try the expert mode and just sort of see how far we can get with that. All right, so, how you doing? Want to challenge it? Sure I do. So, no explanation. Let's try the expert mode because we can get a frog coin out of this and that'd be really cool. So, whoa, uh, that's not good. <laughs> Whoops, can I try again? Going up, I'll give you a boost. Just jump on top of me. Well, thank you very much. So we failed that one. That's okay, that's why we have a lot of coins, right? Is that we can keep trying things like this because I currently have 377. I would like to get at least one frog coin out of this. So, going through it one more time. Expert. Come on. So for this one, why it's tricky is that you don't get the little control over your jump. So really, I think the rhythm here for the most part is just to, ah, oh, no! It's so tough because you are like locked into the platform, but geez, you just want to sort of jump right as it starts wiggling. Ah, oh, that is tough. So I'll try it one more time here. Oh no, wait, that's not what I wanted. I want to challenge it, but I don't want the explanation. Oh my gosh. <laughs> not what I meant to click. That's what I get for trying to go through the menus quickly. Okay, so I want expert. And we'll try this out again. So, trying to go a little bit faster this time. Okay, I made it. There you go, Yahoo, you wanna double your winnings? I don't for now, but I'm glad that we got a frog coin. Nah, okay. I'm sure if you really practice that and got good at it, that would be a really effective way to get frog coins out. So, pretty cool. For right now though, we're gonna move this way, because I don't think we've been this way, right? We haven't, whoa, a whole new area. Definitely wanna save first as we get farther and farther into land's end. Nice. And then back over this way, I'll fight you. Or not. Ah, haven't been here in a while. Or, oh no, it's not, ah, it's, ah. Haven't been here in a while. I've been busy traveling around. Where are you, you heading? Is it Monster Town by any chance? Uh, sure. Okay, listen up. Look for the world where the ant pops up and proceed after it. Keep following it and you'll find your way underground. Once there, Monster Town's just around the corner. I'll see you there. So after the ant pops up, interesting. Um, You can see a lot of these little holes and can I fall into them? Whoa. Okay. And then I'll just end up who knows where. Okay. What about this one over here? There's so much to this already, isn't there? Oh my, oh my. <laughs> Interesting. Besides that though, this seems to be a bit of a dead end room. So, I mean, Ant pops up here, but obviously you can't proceed after because there's nothing here. So if I go this way, there was an ant popping up, as you can see. So if I proceed after, what exactly does that mean for me though? There's not anything over here, is there? It's like a weird little area. Um. I guess I'll just fight that one and go in there. Is that what it means? I'm not sure. We'll find out. But we've gone against these Shogun ants before. Not too bad, we get rid of one of them there. And then if Bowser just wants to toss Mario. Almost got rid of you. Got the perfect block there. Gauge up. Another one. Very nice. Okay. Bowser, do you wanna, or no, Mala. Finish this off. Still not quite enough. There we go. Okay, pretty easy battle. So we'll just try to hop straight into that hole. Uh, oh no, which one was it? Was it this one? It wasn't this one. Okay, I'm a little confused. See, it's this one for now. So let it go away, and that didn't work. Now I can go in, and I'm here. This seems new, sort of. Okay, this is definitely new, so I'll wait for you, and then just go into that one? No. Okay, right after that. I don't know if it's because I'm not waiting long enough. Probably. Okay, that didn't hit all of them, unfortunately, but it's okay. Got that block again. Ah, oh, that one messed up. Sorry, right, though, because it's just one enemy left. I'll switch up the team soon enough, but right now this is working pretty well. 
Okay, so I'll try to follow into that hole as soon as I can. See, was it this one or that one? They sort of move while I'm in that. So, will this send me back to the beginning? Uh, I think so, or at least it sent me back one. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, do I go in now? I guess if I don't hit them from the front. It's very weird, I'm trying to figure out what exactly is going on here. No, that's not what I meant to do. Darn. I'm back here. Okay, so at least this is heading me directly back. So now I go over here. You're gonna pop up. You're gonna do that and then I just follow after you. Okay, that's working a lot more. Oh wow, you're quick. Oh wow, you're really quick. See, that time you follow me. I don't really entirely understand what's causing the fight and what's not. Okay, this one is a souped up enemy, so we should probably, let's try the snowy one again. So how did we do this again? Was it like, can get the, yeah, wiggle it like that. Let's knock these enemies out. Nice, it's a weakness too, so it just destroys all three of them. Very cool. And we get a level up for that too. Chino gets a level up. Level 16 now. This time they're getting six HP, that is crazy. I don't know, I guess we'll just keep beefing everybody up with that. Uh, so now I just hop in. That's definitely the one we just hit. Where are we now? Okay, you are zooming. You are, ah, no, you switched. What does that mean? It means we're back here. Uh, okay, so I think what I got, I have to like tap them back up a little bit. It's, it's really hard to do, but I think that's what I'm, I'm doing. Okay, did I get it? I guess so. No, I'm back here. No, 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 come on, I just got out of that. That was baloney. Okay, I think it worked this time. I defeated the enemy, and I hopped in, and we're in wherever we are now. It's still the land's end, but it's this cave under it. So, this is a different cave, though, I'm pretty sure. Pretty crazy. We'll go ahead and hit this and get Superstar, so I can knock out all these enemies and get a level up from it. So you do get experience from that. All right. Whoa, whoa. Let's get over this way. Got it, got it, got it, come on. No, okay, I'm running into the fight with this one. But Bowser got a level up. Bowser reached level 16. Wow, so cool. So, this time, I don't know. Uh, that's only three this time. I think I'll go with uh, F, or not FP, but magic this time. Okay, so we'll start fighting some of these other enemies to clear them out a bit more. I'll do what I can with it. I know I'm not using my gauge attack right now, maybe I should be, but I figured I wanted to save it for a big fight, because I have a feeling there has to be one coming up, right? It's been a while. Usually we run into a new boss fight pretty often in this game, so I just didn't want to use it and then run into a boss fight and feel really silly, but. Gonna quite block that one. Got it. Malo, if you wanna finish them off, never mind. Bowser can do it though. And since we're not running into too many more enemies, I think it might be fun to switch up some uh, teammates here. Maybe we'll just switch to Gino and Peach. Uh, so, blocking that one. Mario can just go for the chow. And then switch to Gina. Not bad. Switch to Peach. That was pretty good. And we get the frog coin and the attack up, all sorts of stuff there. Ow. <laughs> Got that there. Peach can attack again, but we missed. Cool. So with that all done, we get a chain of two. Not quite a level, but Mario is really close to one. And it looks like we're just supposed to jump down that hole. But you know what, if Mario is so close to a level up, we might as well just keep finishing off enemies. There we go, beautiful. That was really good too. I think that should finish it off. Very good fight there, for sure. So, Mario gets that level up. Malo and Peach aren't too far behind either. Lots of stats gained today. This time. I think I wanna go with just normal attack, like that. There we go. What do we got next? Cause that one I just sort of got forced right into it. Pretty easy combo though, so. Get that there, and then Mario should be able to finish you off right there. That was so much. So 
so very much. We've got a chain of eight too, so lots of things are going our way. Two level ups here, both Malo and Peach. Very cool, so Malo reaches level 17. This one, this time I'll do the HP. And for Peach, 16. That is, wow, that is a lot of HP. That's gonna give her nine HP. This will be the last upgrade I do for, for HP for a bit, I think, because I wanna do some other stuff. I'm getting bored of just doing HP every time. Uh, wow, this is a lot of enemies. Okay, this is where we do Geno Blast, right? Sure. I got a whole day. Perfect timing. Whoa, so much to all of them. Able to finish off the spin throw, and then Mario can focus on this last enemy. Right over here, the Crypid. 30 damage there. Oh, the perfect block, that was beautiful. Let's try the Geno Beam against you. All right, here we go. Not bad, 156 there. Only two there, so not exactly what I'm looking for. Let's try the Fireball. I can't remember if it's good against us or not. It's zero, Never mind. You would think it looks like a plant, that it would do damage. Got it. That's another 156 damage there. What can you do? You can do mute here, which we haven't tried. Halt magic attacks, if executed well, affects all enemies. Okay. Oh, gotta rotate, gotta rotate, gotta rotate. Whoa. Creepy balloon. So they can't use magic effects now. And then, I guess I could just try jump. I pressed jump button, it didn't work. Uh, there we go, it really just does not do much. But beyond that, we don't really have any kind of attack with Peach, so I think this is where we switch her to Bowser, and then just do Crusher. Crusher could be fun. Whoa, 82 damage there, very, very cool. I, I don't know, maybe I'm doing the wrong one. Maybe that's not the combo jump where it goes at the time. I think that's what I'm getting mixed up. Uh, this guy has so much health. It's not looking good. But, 156 more damage there. I guess I'll try it again. There you go, it's something. Yeah, I think that's just a single jump. Got the block from the gunk ball. Ah. We really need more FP, or you know what? I might just want to use the triple move here, the shooting star shot. I've been wanting to save it, but now might be just the time to use it as these two fly up. Whoa, this is such a cool move. This is definitely one of my favorites. Such a spectacle. And it, you know, it's stacking up that damage. Not as much as I was hoping, but it's something. Uh, Actually, that was a little bit of a letdown. Um, in terms of just, it not doing as much damage to knock him out as I thought it would, but there we go. It's still a clear. Glad to see we get some cleansing juice, which just goes into our storage box. And if I can, I think I do have one more flower tab. Use that now to just get a full restore, and we're hopping down. Whoa, and I don't have any more superstar for this. Uh, What's back here? Uh, there's somebody over here. You're looking for a star? I'll sell one for 400 coins. Are you interested? You know what, sure. That's a very, very expensive star, but See ya. All right, crazy. Okay, I got the superstar. We need to be really fast about this and try to defeat every single one of these gadgets. I missed one. Oh, come on, are you serious? Uh, the hitbox, not where I want it to be. Ah, oh, come on. I was really hoping we could get them all. This is not looking good for Mario. Let's go ahead and I have the full FP now. Let's try Geno Blast, just like this. Got the perfect shot. That should get rid of everything except for the Bezo in one hit, at the least. There we go. So, Mario, it always misses. And then they always end up running away. Not that one, though. Excellent. We're stacking up the damage on you, but you still run. It's no frog coin for us. So disappointing. But hey, Gino gets a level up. That's still pretty good. Um, level 17, extra stats, and Gino learned a new move, Gino Flash. Build power, the beam hits all foes. Okay. I think then we'll definitely wanna do that magic attack upgrade. And then I wanna get out of here. I'm a little burnout on attacking enemies. I was hoping I could get them all with the 400 coins I spent, but whoa. Balome ten Temple? We ran into Balome before. Okay. Um, if there's not any secrets around here, I guess I'll talk to you. 
for 100 coins, this shortcut will get you back to the surface. Um, how many coins do we have? 174, we have to spend a lot of money around here. Sure, we'll go ahead and buy this one. And we're just getting into this temple. I'm a little bit worried about how long it's gonna take us to get through it, but we'll hop back out here for a second just to see. Oh, do I have to do the whole thing again though? I thought that there'd be an easy way to get back to it. I mean, I guess not. Okay, so, I mean, I'd rather get back down there then. Um, you're gonna switch over here, and I just uh, get down. That should work, right, please? Okay, I'm back down here. All right, I guess now might be a good time to save then? Sure, we'll go ahead and save, and I'll see what we can do next. So if we go to this guy, he asks if I want a better star. Come back later, I'll find it by then. Okay, so I guess not. <laughs> Interesting. Um, huh. Well, for right now, I'm gonna go this way and just sort of catch up to where we were at yeah, the Balaam Temple. So I could leave from there. I don't wanna do that. I wanna continue this way. And what's this? Just some extra coins. Okay, that would be actually very, very nice. Cause I think these are big coins. So they count as 10 each. Awesome. Uh, hi. Do you want your fortune told? It'll cost 50 coins. Sure. See the three faces on the wall? Hit them in any order and you'll receive your fortune. In any order, huh? Okay. Middle, left, right is my choice. Whoa, hey! What does this say? If you proceed through the next pipe door, or the, the pipe next door, you'll have many friends in the future. Pipe next door. Anything cool up here? Doesn't seem like it, but I guess up this way? Whoa. What is that? Uh, It's an enemy. Formless? Uh, all right, Malo, need your help here. Thought peek on formless. There's nothing there. Has 10 health and is weak to fire and ice. I have a secret. Uh, well, is there a secret? Ouch, I'm on fire because that's what's gonna happen. What did that do? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Whoa, it's a gas ox. Interesting. All right, throw Mario at it. Can't block this one to solidify, ouch. All right, Mario, hit it with that. That was pretty good. Malo, do another thought peek on this thing just in case. Let's see what that does. <laughs> That's 358 health, so gotta really hit it with everything we got here. 100 health there, knocked off. Oh no, Mario's out. Okay, so this is where we switch over to Peach for sure because she can do her comeback and heal them fully if we time it well. There we go. Was that good enough? Maybe a full heal? Yes, awesome. So, now they're all healed up, Mario. <laughs> We're gonna toss you over. And then Peach, I miss, darn. Ah, that lightning, not fun. Almost got you here. So, Mario, be our guest, we missed again. I think we need to do therapy on Bowser. Both because of his health and probably just because of his behavior. <laughs> there we go. Uh. Whoa, I did not block that well. I've not seen that move though before, so I missed again, darn. Come on, they're all missing. There we go, I think that's enough. He had to finally knock you out, that was tough. That was really tough, but we do win. We get 30 experience, so that's something. Were those the friends? Or maybe it's the pipe next door, so I gotta go through the pipe first. Whoa, hey, these aren't friends. They're gonna beat me up. Uh, this looks like it where we fought below before. So I guess I gotta get rid of you guys. Before I do that then, I have plenty of items that should heal us up. Yeah, I know, okay. Can't do it from here. Um, Mushroom on Peach. And then do another on Malo. Just to get them a little bit more up to speed. Okay, here we go. What we got this time? I guess for now. Can't do the comeback. We could do mute. There's a lot of enemies here, but I think I want to save my FP. If we are to be fighting Balloon soon, I really want to save it. You know? So, got that, and it's hitting everybody. That's really nice. We're able to get an attack up there. Bowser can go now and hit you. So now it's just the, uh, the octopus, which usually doesn't have the worst attacks to dodge, but. Oh, there we go. That's fine, that's fine. 
There we get 284 damage, knocks you out, and we win. It's 23 experience, 21 coins is really nice. Bowser's almost at a level up, so let's just keep knocking these enemies out. And uh, 80 damage there. Attack up. I think we got this enemy, yeah, no problem. Pretty easy fight this time. That should be Bowser's level up too. Excellent. So, Bowser getting some extra stats here as well. It looks like out of everything, ooh, definitely the magic is what we wanna upgrade, because we get three points of magic attack, and then one more. Come on, clear you out. No problem. One hit on that enemy. Attack up again. Pretty good there. And then Bowser just has to toss Mario at the, at the Octavator. Still not quite enough though. Oh! Luckily the bolt just, just done, does not do much in terms of damage. Uh, there we go, cool. Okay, whoa, the door's opening! Whoa, what well, is this gonna lead to then? Oh no, uh, well maybe that'll get me out of here? Do I wanna do this? And now I'm just really curious. Oh, so it gets me back up through this pipe. Good to know. All right, so let's see what's through this door. Whoa, there's a hidden treasure nearby. This is not hidden, so probably not what we're looking for, but glad to get this too. Oh man, this is a lot of coins actually, because each of those big coins counts as 10, I believe. Maybe it's up here? Not quite looking like it. Okay, let's grab this one too, I get a frog coin. Not quite seeing it yet, but it's gotta be around, aha, right here. There's still another one? Okay, hmm. You know what it could be, it could be on top of this one, there we go. <laughs> very, very cool. Um, now we're gonna go through this room and, hello. A yellow tie will get you to the next room. Your, unfortunate your, your fortune determines which room you arrive at. If you're lucky, you'll run into Balloon, and Monster Town will be just beyond him. Oh, what I got? Sorry, I'm not setting visitors past my bedtime. Uh, okay. I, is it too late? <laughs> I'm recording this at 11.30 in the morning. I guess there's not really too much more I can do. Let's just go this way. Whoa, whoa! Give me the key and I'll let you pass through. I don't have the key. What do we do? There's a lot of frog coins back there. I definitely want that, but I don't know what I do instead then. I haven't seen a key, so I guess we just want to backtrack, right? Yellow tile will get you to the next room. The yellow tile. Okay. Um. Yeah, the thing I just stood on, so. Interesting. So I don't really know what exactly we do now. Huh. If I wait around for long enough, will something else pop up? I'm a little confused. I guess I just gotta find that key somewhere. It's gotta be somewhere nearby. Okay, so I left that room and came back and I can hit the tongue. Mmm, I'm so hungry, wish I had something to eat. Oh no, are we the something to eat? Maybe if we defeat him, we get the key for the other room. That'd be cool. We'll see, we'll see. Will this actually, oh, this is different. This is definitely different. Uh, there he is. Okay, so I definitely think we have to fight him. So let's make sure that we are in as good of a spot as we can be. I don't think we have like better gear or anything like that, but I think for our items, just make sure that we can use whatever to like restore FP or whatever like that. So first HP like that, and over here. Recovers all FP. I just need to recover, not even 40. Yeah, let's just use a couple of these, because I get a lot of hunting syrups and I end up going to the box anyway. So we'll do that. I think we're as good as we can be to fight Balome, right? Hmm, you look so tasty. I think I'll just have a snack. Oh no, not good. So we're fighting Balome in Balome's temple. All right, uh, I guess we don't want to start with Peach too much. We should just make extra sure we don't need to thought peek you again. I wouldn't think we would, but at least gives me a refresh on what their weaknesses are. Fear, poison, and mute. 1200 health. I'm also happiest when I'm eating. So if you're weak to those three things, then I think for right now, We'll get Mario to attack you like this. Have Bowser do the poison gas because 
poison is one of his weaknesses. There we go. Nice. 101 damage there. Can't block the Aurora Flash. Unfortunate, and Bowser snoozing now. Okay, let's go ahead and try Fireball against you. At least I don't think he'll be resistant to it, but maybe he will be. 105 damage, about the same if he, if he just attacked. So maybe this is where we switch into Peach. I don't know if they can have more than one status effect at once is the thing. If they have poison, should I be trying mute? I don't know, we'll, we'll try it here and see what ends up happening. Oh, it didn't work. Uh, I, I might, might have misclicked there or something. Uh, let's go ahead and try, I wanna try this Geno Whirl again. If they have only a thousand health, if we can time it correctly. It does 9,000, okay, that time I got really excited. I never forget a taste. In fact, after just one slurp, I can clone someone. Watch. Uh oh. You all look delicious, but how do you taste? Oh no. No, not Gino. Bitter, but not bad. So we just don't have Gino right now? Okay, he's back. There we are. Whoa. Crazy. Okay, this is where we probably want to use this one. Gino Flash is our new one. It uses 16 FP. A lot of points. Hold A for power. Perfect. Whoa, he turns into a cannon. Oh my goodness, the whole screen starts twinkling. Makes a whole sun. That was awesome. Very cool. Okay, so I wanna try this again. Yeah, okay. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Got the balloon coming in. And they're both resistant to it. Unfortunate, we don't take any damage from that one though, which is great. There we go. And then knocks out Gino. And the lullaby, uh-oh. Who's snoozing? Nobody. Okay, so we could try this triple move with the Sparasol. I don't think I want that. I want something that packs a lot more of a punch. So we could try the Starry Shell Spike with Bowser or the Healing Rib. Okay, let's do Starry Shell Spike. Isn't that what we did recently? No, it's not. Um, Yeah, well, we, we have done it today, but it was the most recent one. Not really. Uh, we can either do Clown Car Barrage. I haven't seen that one in a while but with the one that we currently have. Well, that's Toad's, oh, because Bowser's snoozing. Okay, then it's gonna be worth it to wait a little bit. Let's go ahead and switch over to Malo in the meantime and do Snowy. That might be fun. Maybe we do Shocker, or maybe I just do a normal attack. Okay, 73 is not bad, because I'm just trying to lower their health a bit more as we're waiting for Bowser to wake up. Oh no, not again. I'm starving. Time to go home for dinner. Don't leave. Goodbye, boys and girls. Don't you leave. I'm in the middle of fighting you. <laughs> All right, whatever. There we go. You win. So we get 41 experience, 20 coins. It's something. And we get a big green button. What is this to you? Whoa. What are we gonna find beyond this? Is it gonna be another big waterfall? Luckily not the case. Oh, it's you. Oh, hello again. That pipe is a shortcut to my home, Monster Town. I'll see you there. Very cool, so looks like we're finally getting the Monster Town. Took us long enough, so here we are. We've made our way into Monster Town, but to explore it, I think we'll save all of that for the next episode of Super Mario RPG. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time, bye-bye.